video tutorial I'm going to show you a really effective way of training pelvic floor muscles. Some women can produce a pelvic floor muscle squeeze, but because these muscles are deep inside, they find it really difficult to work out if they're doing this movement effectively. This is where biofeedback can be really useful. To set the unit up, insert the black reference lead into the top right hand socket. Attach the end to a surface skin electrode. Place this skin electrode over a bony point, such as the side of your knee joint or the front of your pelvic bone. Your biofeedback reading will be much more accurate with this reference electrode in place. Insert the white EMG wire into the middle socket. Connect the periform sensor to the red and black pins at the end of this EMG lead wire. It's a good idea to start doing biofeedback lying down. Make sure you're in a comfortable position with your knees supported by a pillow. This will help you fully relax your pelvic floor muscles. You can use a small amount of gel if you like. Insert the periform gently into your vagina. Remember the sensor plates need to be at the right and left sides to be in contact with your pelvic floor muscles. I'm going to demonstrate biofeedback using my forearm muscles. Firstly, press the on off button once. Let's have a look at what you see on the display screen. This number at the bottom of the screen is measuring activity in my arm muscle. If you are using the vaginal periform, the number is a reflection of your pelvic floor muscle activity. If I completely relax my arm muscle, the reading drops. If I contract my arm muscle, the reading increases. In lying, you would aim to relax your pelvic floor muscles to get this reading as low as possible. Your healthcare professional will use the following steps to set up the unit. Firstly, you will tighten your pelvic floor muscle for 5 seconds. This value will vary, but a note will be made of the maximum number achieved. 50% of this number will be calculated. For example, if it's 36, then half of that will be 18. This is your threshold level, which can now be programmed using the plus or minus threshold button. Once the number is correct, press set. The volume is next. Again, press plus or minus to make this louder or quieter, then set. Work is how long I'm going to hold on to the muscle contraction for. Let's aim for a six second hold. Again, press the plus or minus button to do this, followed by set. Rest is how long I'm going to let the muscle relax between contractions. I'm going to have a 12 second rest time. Press set. TRS stands for the number of trials. I'm going to do four trials. FAB, feedback above, means you will hear the unit bleep when you tighten your pelvic floor muscles just above the threshold you have set. This gives you something to aim for. Press set. Both DOF and WDE are pressed to set when using this handheld unit for pelvic floor muscle education. Press escape and the unit is ready to use. Right, so off we go. I'm going to make a start. You press the start button to begin. You see the down arrow is telling me to be relax my muscles and it's counting down. I'm going to do a 12 second rest phase. And then as the arrow goes up, I'm going to do a six second contraction. And then as the arrow drops, I'm going to let the muscle completely relax again. It's counting down steadily. Muscle is relaxed as I can. And then in the contract phase, the arrow goes up and I'm going to hold on to that squeeze for six seconds and then I'm going to relax again. So every time I contract the muscle, I'm aiming to get the bleep noise from the unit as that's set as my, at my threshold. So I'm working my muscle to its maximum and then I'm resting it completely. You can see here the number of trials. I've set it for four. I've just got two trials left. Relaxation, full contraction, six seconds, good hold, hang on, and then relax again. But 
that must look completely go. And that's the trial finished. Once the trials are finished, I can review the results. I can see my work average, press set. I can see my rest average. If a muscle is relaxed, this reading should be below four. Press set. OST is my onset time. How long is it taking for my muscle to reach its maximum squeeze? This should be less than one second. Press set. RLS is my release time. How long does it take for my muscle to fully relax? Again, this should be below one second. If you press escape and then start, you could begin the muscle workout again. When you switch the unit off, the settings will be saved, ready for you to repeat the same biofeedback session next time. The Neurotrack Simplex is a biofeedback unit that allows you to assess the strength and condition of your pelvic floor muscles. So biofeedback can be done in lying, sitting or standing. It's a really good way to keep motivated and to monitor your improvement.